I'm currently atop a mountain. There's a gentle breeze. The air is fresh, crisp, and clean. And thus, I feel that it's a perfect time to talk about purity. Now, we don't want to think of purity as being merely religious, a religious notion, and write it off. Because really, it's the foundation of everything. Purity is lasad, and lasad means foundation. And I've spoken already about purity, where it's found on the tree of life, and why all the great so-called, oh, we won't even say so-called, uh, but we don't want to get hung up on a label or think too highly of ourselves, like I'm, but all the masters and mystics and people that are profoundly content and happy was simply being with their purity. Why they count on and concentrate on and think only about purity. Why did the man die? Because he wasn't rich, wasn't successful, wasn't happy. No, because he was impure, because he didn't think about purity. Now, you really want to understand that impurity leads to destruction. Well, purity leads you to the summit, to heaven. And yes, I'm focusing on repetition, using the word purity consciously, because we really want to ingrain in the brain this notion that purification will lead you to heaven, soul completion. We can understand things like the sacred secretion within the human organism. Put things into practice like semen retention with determination, with dedication, with no exception. There's no question, say, there's no question, no exception. I'm all in for the long run. Lord, you're right by my side because you know I'm in it for the long ride. Lord within, what you realize when you focus on purity because of the cosmic intelligence, the light which is flowing in all of us, will be able to penetrate and flow through you more easily when you focus on purity. Why do people focus on other things? They want to get them, obtain them, consume them, possess them, own them. And they can't obtain them or do any of that. Why? Because they're impure. And even if they get them, there's there's never end. Desire is a never-ending energy field. There's always something more to get. You get this? Well, I want to get that now. Got first million, now I want to get two million. And so on. Right? So we can easily see, just lo even logically, that... What makes us really happy is not found out there. It's found in here, subjectively. Thus, we don't want to confuse our identity with things outwardly, with objectivity, with 3D reality. We can compartmentalize it, understand our place here, and purity will allow us to do this, to... Realize our purpose. To discover it within. With inner guidance. That we receive 
from our focus on purity. This inward discovery of our purpose won't need to be determined based on what the world tells us. If we grow up in a world where our parents or teachers and society throws a bunch of muck at us, and it's up to us, inwardly, to sort through all that and discover through purity why we're here. You can ask. Ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it'll be opened onto you. Ask sincerely. And that sincerity comes from focusing on purity. And of course, purification may be our intention. And just the desire to purify oneself. That's already the beginning of freedom. People don't even know that either. <laughs> just the desire to purify oneself. And of course, that can be our intention. But we want that to lead to execution. Because oftentimes, you know, some people with the best intentions aren't necessarily the most happy. Because <laughs> it doesn't lead to execution. Right? So. Purification. You want to reject all that is noxious, all that is poisonous to the organism. And we'll be clear in our thoughts and feelings. And we'll be able to penetrate things more easily. We'll be able to focus intently on our work, whatever that may be, because of our purity. Not because we have so-and-so amount of money. So I speak about this briefly. Because that's really what has allowed me to be truly happy with simplicity, not needing anything outside of me. Feeling intrinsically complete, wherever I may be. And I want to share that with the world naturally. So when, when you purify, you'll feel unified and you'll seek to give forth life and energy as a result of that purity. I want somebody to comment how many times I've used that word purity in the description or in the comment section. Yeah, I'll also check out the description because, you know. It's one of the reasons I love making these videos is because it gives me an opportunity to give energy, to give life. Do write in the description, of course. It maxes out at 5,000 characters, so I can only write so much, but it's a way where I can, that allows me to focus on service. It's the intent of making these videos. One person watches it, and it makes a difference. I'm living my purpose, doing my part. Not to make it about me, because it's really, when I say I, I, I'm identifying with all of humanity. Because through that purity, I feel that deep visceral connectivity that abundance, the resources, which 
are abundant within all of us. When we purify ourselves and live for something beyond ourselves, beyond a personality, beyond a personal me and a personal identity with a personal history and a whole bunch of memories, we won't be in a perpetual cycle of seeking this or that because of the memory of pleasure because it feel, feels good personal gratification sense gratification we'll live for something beyond this one and of course we want to focus first purifying ourselves so that sunshine, simply be able to sit and observe, witness the sunset, without needing anything other than that, to be the love and witness of all this, of life, the abundance permeates all of existence. It's within all of us. The significance of life. Same life within you, me, and Jesus Christ.